Cedar Gibson, your empowerment doc from MGAA Professional Development Institute, where we are growing and empowering future leaders now for extraordinary success. What are we going to talk about today? About leadership competencies as it pertains to a leader's professional decorum or to a leader's behavior. Number one, adjust your leadership style based on the environment that you are in. You have social environments, you have your professional environment, and then you just have uh, fun environments. Now, you as a leader have to set the example for your team. You cannot socialize, drink, get drunk with your employees and expect them to respect you the next day at your job. Now, when I say adjust your leadership style, you have to be able to use a variety of leadership styles based on the situation and the environment you're in. You cannot use one leadership style for everyone in the organization. It's situational. Sometimes some people need a whole lot of directions and at other times they just need your support. So adjust your leadership style as applicable. Smile more. Be humorous. Don't be a block. Number three, develop others. Growing and empowering future leaders is what MGAA Professional Development Institute is all about. You must grow your team if you want them to be effective and you want to be successful. Send them to training, have symposiums for them, have them cross train within the organization. Give them the ability to grow so that they will be able to do other things inside the organization and make the organization more effective and develop themselves professionally. When your team is developed professionally, you look good as a leader. Don't take all the credit for the projects that are successful in your organization. Share the credit among your team. Give your teams reward. Everybody likes to feel appreciated. So award your team. Success is all about growing together and sharing the credit. Now, when it's not so good, don't blame your team. So as we recap on a leader's professional decorum or their behavior, number one, adjust your leadership style. Number two, keep smiling and have humor. Number three, develop others, which is really important because if you develop your team, your team will be more effective and that makes you as a leader look good. Number four, share the successes and give credit where credit is due. Don't keep all of the credit for yourself and be considerate of others. I am Cedar Gibson, your empowerment doc, and that's it for today. God bless you.